All right, guys, so I need to work on this uh, geometric threading die. This is a Neil Skokie. Hopefully I'm saying that right and not sure you guys are going to see that through the rust on the face of this thing. Uh, D3 three quarter uh, geometric threading die, right? This was actually a uh, freebie. This was picked up off a floor at a uh, machine shop that's going out of business or has gone out of business. And uh, the people that bought the building were just literally junking everything uh, for scrap weight. So it doesn't have the post to attach to the back of the lathe, right? So um, I just went ahead and roughed this part out. This is going to be the, the post that's going to attach to the, to the lathe, to the, um, to the turret. And um, so it's basically going to go something like, it's going to go on there, something like that. Right, um, but just need to transfer these, the, this bolt hole pattern. And uh, I'd like to uh, countersink these cap head screws um, into here, which is gonna be a little challenging, but should be okay. Uh, but right now what I'm trying to do is, um, now that I got this part roughed out, I'd like to make a, uh, I need to drill out a three, this is a three quarter inch hole here. I wanna drill out a three quarter, quarter inch hole here um, so that I can make a post that will line this up and then I can uh, transfer the the bolt pattern over with the uh, the transfer punches All right, just gonna open this up to five eighths. Stick the boring bar in here, and take twenty thousandths here. So we know we got a good fit there. Um, it's looking good. Now we got to take this over and put it in the slitting saw, and uh, just slit our, make our slit. So, just love that. Love that fit. Not too bad a finish. All right, guys, got a nice slip bushing here now. Just going to part off. And uh, it's going to suck because it's an intermittent cut, but uh, way the range, I guess. Not too bad. All right guys, so now we got our one inch to five eighths split bushing. That's just gonna go in one of these guys like that. And then we can put our five eighths shank chuck in there, right? Okay, so now we got our one inch to five eighths split bushing. It's just gonna go in like so. So now we can put our 5 8 inch, uh, 5 8 inch shank for our drill in, like so. And now we can center drill a hole for the part for the 3 quarter inch pin that's going to locate itself in the back of the threading die. And uh, then we can transfer our bolt pattern. All right, guys, first shift's on the new machine. Here we go. 
I'm going to drill out to a half inch and then uh, I don't want to use a three quarter inch drill bit because it's going to oversize the hole. So uh, we'll drill in here half inch and then we'll, uh, we'll bore it out on the lathe on the uh, hard edge. Hungry boys. Get you guys in a little closer here. First chips, boys. This is exactly what I wanted this machine for. This and being able to thread with the threading die. It's fantastic. Just going to try a little with the power if you can hear. I don't want to get too carried away because I don't need that much of a hole, but I want to try the power feed out. literally bottomed out um, so that's it but pretty cool Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Pour this out to three quarter. All right, guys, just born in here, uh, forty thousandths at a time. All right guys, so just got the location pin made now and you can tell it's a nice suction fit there. And um, so I'm just gonna put a drop of super glue on this and then we'll be able to drop it into the hole and uh, just put our transfer punches in and we'll be ready to go. Quarter by 20. If you guys don't have a set of these, I highly recommend it. Um, when you gotta locate a blind hole, these are handy. Quick and dirty. All right, so just gonna try to locate this in and And there you have it, some punched holes. So get this in the mill, locate them in.
So it still needs to be deburred, but let's give it a quick fit up. Let's see how well we placed our holes. Looks pretty good. Looks like it lines up. Okay. Demonstration purposes. Oh yeah, like a glove. So now we can hold our threading die. That's pretty awesome. So just gonna clean this part up, get it, uh, get it deburred and stuff, and then a lot less threading in the in the uh, in the vise with the V block, which is what I've been doing. So pretty awesome. I just have a real love for these old machines, and uh, I, I, the, this guy was going in the scrapyard. So um, I'm glad he's not in the scrapyard, and uh, he gets to be used again. And, um, it, it amazes me; these things are built to last. So, anyway. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for some more cool stuff.